Welcome to the Studio Scale A Wing Helmet Build Up Tutorial. To see how this helmet kit was made, check on the build blog linked in the video description. In this tutorial, I'll be guiding you through every step required to take this raw kit and transform it into a fully finished green leader replica that looks like it came right off the set. If you haven't seen it yet, it would be advisable for you to go and check out the Y-Wing helmet build that I just completed. It shows you a lot of tips, just in case in this tutorial I gloss over any of the steps. You can go back and watch that tutorial. It's extremely detailed with every bit of trimming, every tool I use to trim, and every single little thing that's going to happen with this helmet. This is a laser cut piece of foam. It lines the interior of the helmet shell. You've got your fabric tube and the faux leather to wrap the tube. Okay, we are going to start with some pre-trimming on these resin greebly parts. So I've got some 60 grit sandpaper. I like to lay it down on a nice smooth surface and just give it a few scrapes to make a nice flush bottom on all these pieces. These come to you somewhat already pre-trimmed. You just want to just give them a look over and see if there's anything left to do. These are all nice and clean. There's really nothing left to do except put these guys in their base colors. On this visor, it's already pre-trimmed a bit. And I'm just going to finish this fine trimming with a cone sander on my rotary tool. The helmet also comes to you mostly pre-trimmed, but there will be a little bit of edge sanding, just a little bit of edge cleanup, and again, I'll be using the rotary tool to trim down the rest of these edges. I would like these main parts to have a really nice base coat, so I'm going to wash them. I'm going to get all that dust and debris, little finger oils and particles off these surfaces so I can get a nice clean base coat of color on these guys. Okay, these parts have been thoroughly washed, thoroughly dried. I'm using for this top of the helmet Insignia White Tamiya. This is the same color that's the base coat for the Falcon. Anyone that's a studio scale modeler will know this color very well. So I just thought I'd give another option. This is really nice. It's a little bit pale for me though. I'm going to go ahead and give it a true concrete color. Star Wars concrete I call it. So I'm using about four parts uh, flat white to about one part deck tan. And you end up with something like this. And let me airbrush this to show you how it looks. The main helmet is base coated in flat white. I'm not sure you can tell, but there is a pretty significant color difference between that white and the visor. I'm painting up green leader in this tutorial. It's a very simple paint job. I'm starting with painting these vents on both sides a very dark gray. So I've got it masked off there and there. All right, I have those two areas painted dark. Green Leader has these red stripes on the cheeks, and I'll be using the masking tape to do the same masking there. Here are the cheeks masked off. I custom mixed about four parts red, one part orange. So it's sort of this, and then a little bit of dark, a little bit of a, a black in there. So I've got this kind of muddy red orange color.
and that is all the masking necessary for green leader. Next I'm going to insert this interior foam liner. I'll be using contact cement to get that in place. I'm going to line up this left side cheek and press the rest into position. I'm going to go ahead and work on this leather trim. I've got a rag here protecting my table. Spray 77 is going to be applied pretty liberally to the inside of this faux leather. I'm going to let this set for a, about a minute and then wrap this faux leather as tightly as I can manage. This leather color seems a bit bright to me, so I mixed up a little bit of dark brown. I'm just going to darken the shade just a little bit. Make it not so bright. Let's do a little assembly. This Greebly is going to go smack dab in the middle, right there. The left side of the helmet is this roundy piece. This rectangular detail glues about right there. But I will be gluing the big fat Yamaha button there. The smaller Yamaha button right there in that circular indent. And then the other rectangular Greebly goes about right there. Alright, let's turn our attention to the top of the helmet. I've been calling this the visor. I'm not sure what else to call this. But you can see that I trimmed a little bit above where the indication is. So these are kind of stub a little stubbier than how I have it marked off on the vacuform piece. You're going to take these two guys and glue them right on the bottoms of these. I also noticed that it fits a little bit tight, so I'm going to get a heat gun and just relax out these, ed these sides just a little bit. So I'll just apply some heat to the inside and just bend it out ever so slightly. Alright, so this is stretched out just a tiny bit. The reason for that is this is pretty close to this edge. There's only maybe a quarter of an inch here before it was laying really inside. Now it's a bit on the outside and that is what we are looking like so far okay this is a custom color this is an olive green a touch of blue gray when those mixed together they're a little dark so I added some white and I came up with this color that to me looks correct for the bottom portions of this visor piece And there's a black liner on these edges, and I'll apply that using some black pinstripe tape. I'm going to go ahead and start applying this leather trim to the edges. To do so, to make it fit tight against there, I want to trim away the edge of the foam on the inside and just remove some of that material so that this will fit in there tight to the resin. Here's the helmet attached. I ended up using 5 minute epoxy to tack it on and then E6000 overnight. And this thing is on here for good. Okay, let's go on. Uh, let's do the last few steps of assembly. Microphone, piece of wire, little hole drilled into this end, little hole drilled into this cap piece. And I'll paint that all black. I drilled two small holes here and here, and there's little cover plate screws, flathead screws, that detail both sides. I have a Tamiya medium gray with a little bit of black mixed into it, so it's a very dark gray. I'm not starting with black. And I'm going to, just like I do with all these helmets, I give everything a little bit of a tone down first. 
I don't want this helmet to be so bright. So that means giving it a little bit of a kiss of this dark, smoky gray color. We'll come back a lot darker and a little more aggressive in some of these grooves. But for now, to start this guy off, hit it at all angles, just tone it down. And just so that this helmet isn't all brand new looking inside this upper region, I'm going to weather this also. This particular helmet is really lightly weathered, this green leader. Comparatively speaking, compared to the, all the other Y-wing helmets and X-wing helmets, really light but I'm gonna go ahead and just put a few scratches back here where I would imagine this helmet bumping and grinding into stuff and we'll be adding some black scrapes here in a minute but I, I want to start this by introducing some scratching there's not very much happening up here as far as scratches go but back here we don't really see this film used helmet but I imagine that it's a little bit beat up back here. Before I go any further with this helmet, I'm going to give it a nice protective coat of matte clear. It's the same stuff I use on all the helmet projects. rust -Oleum, matte clear. This will lock down everything that we've done so far. So if we make any mistakes further down the road, we can just wipe off the paint and start again from this stage. There's a little bit of gray staining on this top piece. So I have a very kind of medium gray, extremely thin with some ISO. And I'm just gonna see where some of these gray spots are and apply them. There is a little bit of black chipping around the edge here so I'm applying that with a little stick there's a couple little black scratches and not very much just a little bit here and there a little bit on this edge and because we whoops this is a great example because I have the sealer on here, that matte sealer, I could just wipe away a mistake and keep going. The last step of this helmet is detailing it with some cabling. It's hard to tell where everything goes. I'm using some of this plastic tubing from Home Depot and some just old electrical wiring. This tubing, I've got a piece, I haven't glued anything yet, but it's coming out of there, it's coming into that, and then there's another big tube that comes out of this. I've got a pre-drilled hole there. And it is going to connect down below, down here. Okay, here it is, completely finished. One day build. Beautiful helmet. Really nice leather trim. I was able to keep this helmet pretty much to scale of the film used prop. It fits really nice and snug against the cheeks. And I really love all this detailing. Thanks for watching. I have many hundreds of tutorial videos on my social media spanning over 20 years. So if this content interests you, subscribe and check in for more material. Thanks for watching.